This is the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok in two minutes. Now I need to start this video out by saying that Ragnar Lothbrok is a legend. Kind of like the Viking King Arthur. A mixture of the stories of probably about three or four different historical figures that had the first name Ragnar. Yes, we never found his grave. But in the days of old, when the seas were ruled by mighty longships and the land trembled beneath the footsteps of warriors, there lived a legendary Viking chieftain named Ragnar Lothbrok. Ragnar was a man of great valor whose name has echo through the halls of history. Born in the kingdom of Denmark, Ragnar possessed an indomitable spirit and a thirst for adventure that burned deep within his heart. As the story goes, from an early age, he displayed extraordinary courage and legendary skill in battle, earning the respect of his comrades and more importantly of his enemies. Ragnar's destiny was intertwined with the vast oceans and the uncharted lands that lay beyond the horizon. With his loyal band of warriors, he set sails on his longship, adorned with the emblem of a fearsome dragon its bow slicing through the waves like a berserker's axe through flesh. His voyages took him to distant land, and on legendary raids, Ragnar's reputation grew with each conquest, and some had called him the most famous man in the world at that time. His name was whispered among the winds, and it was said that he was even descended from the gods themselves. One of Ragnar's most daring expeditions was to England. With the fleet of longships at his command, he descended upon the land with a ferocity that shook the very foundations of the kingdoms. The English king trembled trembled before him. His battle skills were unmatched. In his quest for glory, Ragnar faced trials and tribulations. He bested mighty serpents and outwitted cunning adversaries. His fame reached the ears of the fair maiden Oslog, a woman of enchanting beauty and mystic powers. Ragnar was smitten and they became husband and wife, but his fame and skill did not go unnoticed. The jealous eyes of the rival kings and envious warriors plotted against him. Captured and cast into a pit of venomous vipers, Ragnar faced his darkest hour, yet he did not yield to the venomous fangs, and some say he even told a joke at the hour of his death. He foretold the prophecy of his sons coming to avenge him, and that they did when the news of his death reached their ears. Led by Ivar the Boneless, they set forth to avenge their father's name. The heavens trembled at the sons of Ragnar as they unleashed their fury upon their enemies. They toppled kingdoms and carved their names into the runes of history. Stay fucking savage.